what's going on guys we're back we are back in the building i'm so used to the bubble let's do it let's do it let's roll it one more time from the top one more time from the top all right give me one second here what's going on everybody we are back happy sunday i'm excited to be back in the building i'm not so sure i'm not so sure what's going on with um you know with the stream over here sometimes that tends to happen but how is everybody doing it's been a minute my apologies for not letting you guys know i was not going to be streaming last thursday apparently i was in seattle for a a, a work uh work conference so you know we've been busy but we also have been like you know taking it easy to some extent so no, thanks for bearing with me and we're, we're, we're back here to review uh these amazing new balances i'm definitely excited to be talking about them and um and you know to have swooped them up because these did sell out in a lot of stores but what's going on what's up what's up what's up we got uh we got zach and in the villain how are you we got real gaming 94 hey everybody what's up how is everybody hanging dendy's in the building what's going on what is up how is everybody hope you guys are having an amazing weekend um i guess it's a regular weekend it's not an extended weekend of anything but i kind of feel like i've had a little bit of an extended weekend coming back from seattle and then going into the weekend so it's uh it's, it's been nice it's been nice definitely and i'm gonna be real with you guys i haven't been as up to date with everything going on in sne in the sneaker realm i did want to touch base with the fact that there was that shock drop which we try to scoop up the um not that we need any more uh white cement threes but there was the white cement threes and the unc fives that did drop did anybody in the chat swoop those up um i believe that was um that was on was that thursday or was that wednesday it was definitely it was one of those days i'm sorry uh <laughs> but uh but yeah let's go let's go we're we're, we're we're here we're here you guys know it. bring the energy we're almost monetized i'm super excited for that and i i just can't thank it, 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 everybody enough for all the support I think we need about what 180 more watch hours so if you guys want to support the channel just watch my videos if anything but um definitely nice to be back in today's video we're going to be featuring these over here so these are the new balance uh collaboration with bodega really interesting uh box so we're going to be getting into this momentarily yeah you know what christian we back here we liddy for sure it, this is an interesting pair of sneakers because i think it's like it's one of those like Kind of gives me a retro vibes to some extent, so we're going to get into it. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen just so you guys know exactly what we're talking about over here. I'm going to just share this. So when I initially saw this, I was like, I really wanted them because of the fact like just the colors really speak to me. They kind of, well, actually, for those that don't know, one of my favorite brands is Brain Dead. okay? Uh, Brain Dead is a, a Los Angeles-based brand, and they do similar colorways to something like this. So when I saw Bodega doing a collaboration with New Balance, into specific silhouette i was kind of intrigued by it and i wanted to see what it's all about but based on some of the reviews i've seen on this it's it, it looks like a trekking shoe and you guys know it dad shoes trekking shoes they're all the rage these days i don't know for this specifically i'm not going to say it's probably going to be the best trekking shoe i think it, it's disguised as a trekking shoe but i think overall it, it, it's to me it's a fashion sneaker it, it, it's it's one of those that just looks fashionably like you can use this in the city you can use this anywhere and i can see a lot of people rocking this because you guys know new balance is kind of the, the the wave these days in a lot of aspects so um I, I don't know how many new balances i have at this moment in time but this is definitely something that uh the colors intrigue me and i don't know i just wanted to see what it looks like in person we haven't unboxed them yet so we're going to be unboxing with you guys today uh we got rock and reddings in the building what's going on what's up what's up what's up shout out to all you all you guys know the drill you come to the building smash that like button it definitely helps the channel opens up the algo to more people so these did sell out on the new balance site um i believe i was looking at how long it took it probably took about two hours it didn't sell out instantaneously but i think as the word got out more and more of these eventually sold okay um, I, I don't know if they're still in stock on the actual um, new, new Balance site. I believe it was the Bodega site that sold out. Yeah, the Bodega, the Bodega site, as you see here, completely sold out. And we were hoping to scoop them up, but we weren't able to get it on the Bodega site. We ended up scooping them up through New Balance. That's where we got our, our pair. Now, this is going to be a true to size type of uh, situation. You do want to go true to size with, I would say, a good... A good amount of new balances you're gonna want to go true to size but please do your research before purchasing any new balance because certain people online 
uh, that have done their reviews will say sometimes it, it helps to go down half a size for certain silhouettes, okay? I'm not saying for, for this one specifically, I would go your true size if you do decide to go with this. Now, they are sold out in the majority of the places that I am aware of. I don't believe they're still in stock. Let me actually double check over here. Let me actually just, you know, while, while I got you all over here, let's actually just check New, New Balance. I believe New Balance might still have and have some stock, but I, I it's not guaranteed. Um, oh, dang, let me just see. I just want to just double check here. I think they may, they might all be sold out right now. Yeah, not seeing it at all. Um, All right. Um, yeah, but what's going on? We got, yeah, uh, shout out to everybody. All right, uh, I guess they're sold out. They are sold out, and this doesn't surprise me as this did retail um, for $160, and it dropped on the 9th. That was on the uh, initial bodega site. So as you see, they're sold out. Um, but the the when they dropped the New Balance, I believe that was a couple days after, which we did end up swooping up. When am I going to feature my cats? Hey, man, you, uh, you, got, a, you got a good question. Uh, <laughs> give me a, give me a second. Let me grab, let me grab one of them right now. Uh, <laughs> let me grab one of my cats. Um, I do feature them from time to time. I think when they, when they do end up like coming into, into the, I don't know when they kind of are walking on the table. So this is, this is Riley. He's a uh, pretty much like white, white bellied kitty, short haired kitty. And this guy, he's kind of like a dog in a lot of aspects. Like he, He's one of those cats that just literally like he'll play fetch. Uh, he'll he'll be running around and stuff. Come here, buddy. I'm trying to get trying to get Oliver in, in the shot too. Let's see. Let's see if he comes in. Come here, buddy. All right. Feature the other guy. And this is Oliver. All right. So this is Oliver. Now Oliver's more of like a shy cat. Um, he he's a uh, he's definitely. I mean, as you see, he's got the sad boy face. He just always looks like he's he's sad, but he, yeah, my my boys my boys definitely are, they're a handful, but they're also just they're, they're they keep me sane. They definitely they definitely keep me sane, and and yeah, I mean it's definitely interesting having two cats running around. I kind of feel sometimes like I'm living in this like cat kitty aquarium to some extent. I'm just a cat guy, you know. I'm a cat dad over here, so yeah, I know they're. They are adorable. Thanks for asking about them. I should really feature them more. I should just start my streams with the cats in the background. Or heck, I should just have the kitty tree in the background when they be sleeping up there. You know what I mean? Uh, still figuring out my setup over here. But I appreciate you asking. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're doing well. But going back to topic real quick. I mean, we got to feature the cats. I appreciate you asking about them. They definitely are just definitely bundles of joy to me for sure. Um, but these are some interesting sneaker guys. So um, this let's 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 uh let's 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 get back to them over here uh i don't know for me the purple definitely the purple on the medial side of the sneakers definitely do pop and i really do like them a lot yeah i'll definitely make it a point to feature them more uh keep up with the tiktoks i watch them i watch them you know from time to time appreciate you swinging on by uh the building over here so we've got that interesting box. I really love the teal and the purple on these. These are just popping. It's I think it's overall just like it's, it's just giving me such a retro vibes for this specific, uh, this specific silhouette and this specific sneaker. Now I'm gonna give these a shot. I'm gonna give them a solid shot and actually wear them when I'm going hiking. Now I, I'm not necessarily the biggest hiker in the world. I don't go hiking every weekend, but I do go hiking you know from time to time. Let's say if I'm gonna put a number on how many times I, ha I hike within a month, probably once a month if anything. Okay, so it, it's I think it's um. It, 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 I want to, I want to give these a good solid try for hiking, even though I don't really think they're built for hiking. I think it's one of those things it's supposed to look like a hiking sneaker, but isn't necessarily built for hiking specifically. Otherwise they would make this waterproof and not just water resistant. So what, what's the main difference you, you might be wondering, what's the main difference between water resistant and waterproof waterproof is really going to protect your feet from getting wet period okay water resistant is more so to wick away the water that is that you know falls onto your sneaker okay so this is more on the side of water resistant versus waterproof which to me if they're going to make something that's supposed to be built for the you know 
for the you know the for 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 the for, for different uh, types of weather I, I would say it would have been best that they used just better materials to really protect your feet from the you know the forces um but yeah let's let's go ahead and let's let's get into it i appreciate all you guys rocking with us in the building today again uh whether you pick, uh, whether you did scoop these up or not we're here to feature them today you guys know it. we we uh we're, a, we're i guess a fashion and sneaker channel over here that's pretty much what we do and then i also do cover yo-yo content as well so uh let's go ahead and let's blow up that screen let's go ahead and take a look at these bad boys all right so yes these did release june 9th uh 2023 and this is i guess considered a hiking shoe but it also says it's a running shoe on on the box which i kind of find interesting all right so uh you just subscribe to uh yeah hey real gaming and yeah, that's awesome yeah no she puts out amazing uh content and I highly recommend uh taking a look at her at all the horoscopes and everything cool stuff for sure so guys, so this is pretty much the box. I believe this arrived maybe about like, I don't know, like seven days ago, if anything. So you guys know, we, we, stock, we stock up on sneakers and then we cover them when we're able to, um, you know, when we have the time. So this is it. It says uh, New Balance Trail. This is the 610, okay? The 610 silhouette. And you guys know it. New Balance is on the come up. You got some pretty, it's just an interesting box overall. It's, it's one of those like top lid. You could just kind of pop open. So you have New Balance over here. And I did go true to size nine. Nine and a half, uh, and that's a UK nine. It says running course black green noir vert is what it says over here. So just so you guys can see what the deal is over here. And on the side, you'd have to have that triangle as well with the Bodega Trail 610. Now, before I take these out of the box, I did want to mention to you guys, um, you may be wondering, what exactly is a Bodega? Bodega is a retail store in Los Angeles. And the first time I visited Bodega was probably maybe about six years ago. And when I, ent when I, when we were, me and my sister were trying to find where Bodega was. And she's just like, she's like, did you, did you dupe me? You drove me, you, you got me to drive you all the way here. And like, where's the store? And I was like, it's got to be around somewhere. So at the, the, the back of their warehouse is actually the entrance. And they had just had a box of like, they had boxes and boxes of bananas and we didn't know where to go but apparently you go through it and it's like the entire place is designed so you don't really know where it is it's it's kind of like one of those like underground retail stores and we entered and then boom we just see all the shoes and it's just it was really an amazing experience because they had a little mini mart inside as well it was just a really cool experience you guys know me i love fashion to death and um, any stores that are upcoming and really, you know, are, are, are pivotal, we want to we want to see them in person. So it was a great experience to um, to you know take a look at what they had to offer. And um, they just had a whole bunch of them. They just had a whole bunch of shoes and a whole bunch of clothing, and that's what they're about. Okay, I think they're still located in the same area in Los Angeles. But anyway, without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and unbox these New Balance collaboration with Bodega Trail. Uh, six tens and as you do see it's just a it's pretty much a lid that you just kind of pop open it's not a flip lid and here we do happen to have interesting so it does kind of give you some trail vibes you know it kind of looks like if you were to if you were you had some drone footage like all the way up this is probably what you what you'd see at the bottom of some kind of trail is just all these lines if anything okay and it does happen to have a new balance with the dagger right there and here we have wow Woo! these are nice these are nice. I like them. I like them. First impressions, seeing them for the first time. You guys know what? I always save my unboxings, majority of the time, with to, to share with you so we can share this experience together. This this feels and looks just, again, first impressions, this feels and looks like it's some really good quality. Again, I don't want to badmouth this sneaker and say that this isn't built for trekking when I haven't legitimately tried it yet. So I want to put the benefit of the doubt and give this thing um you know i just want to i, I want to actually try it out so i'm going to give this a solid shot when next time i go hiking i'm going to be rocking these and i'll let you guys know how it fares against you know the mud and the the trail itself but overall super clean i really like it um i believe these do come with some extra laces as well i just love the fact that they have some purple hints like you do have to have you happen to have that purple sock liner you happen to have this a little i guess uh you know keychain which we will be taking off we don't typically rock our sneakers with these extra things these are typically just um i don't know to put on a bag if anything um i mean you guys let, let me know what do you guys typically do do with stuff like this these little hang tags some people rock it on i typically take take them off it just doesn't make sense for it to be dangling 
while you'd be walking around, especially if you're on a track. Um, but solid, solid. You have a lot of different materials. I'm seeing everything from hairy suede, leather, and then you, you have to happen to have this nylon stitch as well. I really like the hints over here, as you see. You have some like purple, purple, uh, I guess, lace lacelets, if anything. And then there's also some orange as well. And this is just great because you can really kind of see this from, you can see this from afar, especially those orange hits. Um, just solid. Uh, yeah, no, they're really clean. This is this was definitely up here. I mean, for me, when it comes to New Balance, we don't we're not like New Balance crazy over here. We don't get every single release when it comes to New Balance. But for me, I'm very selective with the New Balances that we pick up. And this one, when I saw it, I was like, okay, that's kind of speaking my language. It's speaking my colors. And um, yeah, look at that. Look at the soul. Soul definitely got some like trekking tracking vibes. If anything, got a lot of like loud orange kind of looks like orangey red of anything and then uh kind of like that like like dusty brown on top and then that teal on the inside so it looks like this is going to be really good tracking for when you're walking around and you're, when you're climbing them you're climbing them hills you know when you're climbing them hills in san francisco or when you're going on treks so i want to give this the benefit of the doubt i don't want to say this isn't like built for trekking just yet until i actually try it out I want to I want to give it a solid shot. Let's go ahead and just take take the take the other pair out. I believe there are some extra laces as well. So you do happen to have wow. It does actually come with some two extra laces. One does happen to have um, a little bit of um, I guess 3M 3M on it. So little 3M dots. And then the other one is more like a lighter a lighter brown if anything. Uh, the the brown it goes very well with this over here along with this over here as well. But I don't know, for me, looking at the three laces, I'm probably just gonna leave, I'm probably gonna leave the laces that currently come with it. I think it's a good look with it. So on the ex external, you take a look at that N, nice and gray. And then on the, on the, uh, on the medial side, on the inside, it's, uh, it's purple, which is real clean. Look at that, super nice. So colors, I think they hit this out of the park. I mean, I'm gonna give it a really good rating when it comes to, to the colors. Uh, materials looking really good as well. I don't know, overall, I gotta try these on. I think these are really comfy, but the, there are, based on also a lot of the stuff I've seen on these, I know I'm not, I haven't tried them yet, so it's hard for me to say, but based on what I've heard, uh, there are new balances that are more comfortable than these. These are decent. Um, yo, what's going on, Mr. Old School? Appreciate you rocking us here in the building today um so so yeah so let's go ahead and let's just like let's just go ahead and take a look at, at the, the the different pieces so there are a couple pieces over here that are lined with 3m tape 3m tape is really to be able to like if there's light ever shine on these areas they're gonna light up okay so you do happen to have that triangle in the front over here this is 3m tape and then that new balance is also 3m tape so that is going to light up when you know you're crossing the street there's like a a car that passes and some light is going to be shined that is going to light up okay um on the medial side it's not necessarily going to be needed because you think about it you're walking across the street this way all that all that really needs to be shined on is going to be that 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 new balance the new balance over there which sometimes it's deceiving it can look like a z but it's it's an it's an n let me just close this door before one of my cats gets back into the kitchen again. Um, but I like these overall, okay? On the exterior over here, you do happen to have that really nice suede, okay? You happen to have that really nice uh, leathery leathery suede, and then you do happen to have some hairy suede on the bottom as well. Uh, more diamonds on the back. Purple stitching. Kind of gives me Virgil vibes to some extent. Seeing that little purple stitch in the back is a really nice, like, uh, I don't know, just a little, little nice Easter egg in the back over there um what is was that a ghost oh no i don't know <laughs> no you know honestly sometimes my um i mean you could you, you, it might be a ghost but i mean i i personally think that like just how this door works is like sometimes it just opens randomly it's the weirdest thing but i think it's because i need uh i need to i need to switch the um the, the doorknob sometimes it just doesn't click in properly so that's what i think's going on if you want to think it's a ghost it could potentially be a ghost. It's the ghost of sneakers past. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's definitely the ghost of sneakers past. Um, bottom of the sneaker, let's just let's look at that one more time over here. These are clean. These are clean. And again, I do like the fact that majority of the bottom is, is black. So when these do get dirty, it's like, it's really not gonna be as noticeable. I mean, yes, 
this is going to get dirty very easy you know that 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 light that light um is it what this is more so like a like a almost yeah it's kind of like a baby blue in a way that is definitely going to get dirty and then on the tongue i didn't really get to touch much on the tongue but you do happen to have your bodega collaboration uh over here new balance and then it does it does say bodega as well stamped into that triangle so these are super nice super clean 160 dollar price tag Honestly, they could have probably got away with selling this for $190, $200 um, flat, and they pr still probably would have sold. Why? Because I think these colors are amazing. I really do think like they're bringing back some like retro vibes, and I just I see this as this is something that's in. Otherwise, they wouldn't have sold out on the website, right? Um, so those are a couple things that I typically notice with this. Now, I want to go ahead and let you guys know my official rating on this. Now. It's hard to completely rate a sneaker these days when I haven't really worn them yet. You know what I mean? I haven't really put these, I, I haven't put it against like the elements. It's not like I brought this to, you know, to Yosemite and like try to climb Yosemite with something along the lines like this. I don't know if I'd be wearing something like this for a, a long trek like that, especially up a mountain like that. Um, however, um, I think, you know, if you're just going on like a, a light trek, light trail, can't go wrong with these, okay? Can't go wrong with these at all. So let's go ahead and let's break it down. So I, my categories for my rating, instead of just giving a solid number out of 10, we typically break it down into three, okay? And we talk about materials, okay? And then we talk about colors and then we talk about height, okay? So first things first, okay? Let's talk about materials on this. I like the materials. There's a whole hodgepodge of different materials on this, which I absolutely love, okay? I really do love the fact that you just have, like you have hair suede, you have uh, like, you have this like, um, uh, nylon lining over here as well and then you just do happen to have just a whole bunch of leather like kind of in different places along with the hairy suede on the back as well just super solid super super solid so for materials i'm going to give i know that the materials could have been a little bit better in terms of quality but overall i like do like the fact that there's um they put a lot of work into this you also have, happen to have this mesh lining on the back as well so there really is a lot that they put into so i'm going to give a solid eight out of ten for the materials okay materials eight out of ten that's when i'm going to rate it um especially just with all this traction on the bottom as well now colors colors this is a very colorful sneaker even though it's not necessarily the loudest sneaker it's not like you it's not like you there are any neon vibes on this at all obviously purple can be pretty loud purple can definitely pop but again that's on the medial side of the sneaker so th like when you're out and about this is typically what people are going to see so it's kind of monotone in a lot of aspects, but but overall, I do like the fact that, like that's loud, okay? So I'm gonna rate in terms of colors, I'm gonna probably give this a solid, I'm gonna give this a solid eight out of 10 as well. I really do like the colors on this. I think that they pick some really nice colors that really um, complement each other. You know, the purple, the olive on the inside, that nice teal, just all of it just kind of goes really well together. So whoever, whoever designed, whoever designed, um, whoever, I guess is the color, uh, designed the colors for this hats off to you. I think you did an amazing job on this. Just super, super solid. Um, so I really do like that. And now hype. Okay. Um, yes, they did sell out. Uh, however, for me, I look at sell out times and that really kind of like factors in on the amount of hype, because if it was really, really hyped up, these would have sold out instantaneously. This would have sold out within within a minute, if not seconds, but the fact that these did sit on the website for quite some time, I think a lot of people were on the fence. Now, yes, they eventually did sell out, but for, for me, I look at hype and uh, sell out times do tie into hype in a lot of aspects. So I would most likely be rating this in terms of hype, probably a seven out of 10. Like they didn't necessarily fly off the website. Like I was able to actually scoop these up on the second, on the second drop on the New Balance site. So these are still like, you know, acquirable. It was not like they were like so far out of out of sight and out of um, you know, so, so out of reach. I guess is what I'm trying to say. You know what's going on? Uh, we got bacon in the building. What's up? What's up? How are you? Urban? Yeah, it's an urban trail sneaker. Thank you. That's ex that, like you cannot sum it up better than that. So definitely does give urban vibes. Now, I can definitely see a lot of people wearing this in the city, even though you don't need to wear this in the city. Mainly because it's a fashionable sneaker. You, you really do happen to have really nice colors on it. So yeah, so uh, I'm not sure if I was able to, yeah, I, I did say seven, 
out of 10 in terms of hype. It wasn't necessarily like the most like, like people going crazy for this. Um, however, I think this is one of those sneakers, and I've said this with other sneakers I've reviewed on the channel, where people will look back and they'll be like, that was definitely a pickup. I should have went for that, you know, especially if prices do go up. I don't think this is going to go crazy on the aftermarket anytime soon. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and take a look at prices momentarily. But I want to give my overall rating, okay? So 887. I'm going to give this, honestly, I'm going to give this a solid, solid, solid 8 from me for this initial, like, entire sneaker collaboration. I think they did a great job I, for me. The colors really pulled me in. Um, again, I'm not the biggest trekker, hiker guy. However... You know, this is kind of motivating me to get out a little bit more in nature. You know what I mean? Hey, if the product, hey, if the product pulls you to go do more things in nature, I think it's a dub. You know, I think it's definitely a dub. So that concludes my review of these Bodega, you know, 610 collaboration with New Balance. I think they definitely did a great job on these. Solid 8 out of 10 from me on these. I really do like them a lot. Um, I do find this, you know, the whole lacing system a little interesting with this little thing and you have like these It's almost like these laces are just hanging out kind of like an antenna on the sneakers But hey, it's it's a it's it's a it's a vibe. It's a style, right? So that um, that basically concludes my review of these and I really like them a lot And I'm excited to put these against the forces of nature Relatively soon and I'll let you guys know exactly how that turns out and you know if these if these things pass pass the uh, you know the, the test against the forces okay uh let's go ahead and let's dive back here and let's go ahead and let's take a look at what these are doing on the aftermarket but you guys let me know is this something that you guys would consider picking up did you pick these up i'm very curious okay i'm very curious yes they did sell out in majority places um i believe they did sell out everywhere but let's go ahead and take a look at what they're doing on aftermarket nothing crazy okay so this is what they're doing on the aftermarket on goat right now these are retailing for 207 to 10 you know around that so you know considering i picked these up for about what 160 maybe 170 to my place we're talking you know we're talking a little bit of lunch money if anything but then you guys take into account selling on these sites there's really not that much to be made because of the fees and all that stuff so if you do happen to have these in hand i would honestly i'd hold them or sell them to somebody in person. That way you can, you know, make a little bit of money, if anything, but really no nothing new, you know, nothing to write home about, if anything, okay? Um, so yeah, these are these are clean. I like them a lot. Just get, definitely getting a, a double thumbs up for me on these. I do really like these, and I'm excited to have them in the building here. I don't own many trekking sneakers. Honestly, I'm thinking right now, how many trekking sneakers do I have? Uh, this might be, honestly, the first of many, so we shall see, but um, yeah, it's definitely nice to... No, just have different types of sneakers in the rotation, okay? And the reason I'm bringing this up, the reason I'm bringing this up is because of the fact that it's like, okay, you guys know it. A lot of my channel, we cover Nikes. And a lot of my channel, we typically talk about, you know, a lot of these hype sneakers that everybody's going after, which either Jordan brand, Nike brand, it's like, or, you know, we're talking about Dunks and SB, uh, you know, related stuff. It's nice to switch it up with a different type of sneaker in the mix because if you think about it, when you have certain things in your rotation, it's like, are you really going to be going hiking wearing your Jordans? Probably not, okay? So it's nice to have something in the rotation, something like this, where it's like you got the traction in the bottom, and this is really going to grip on those rocks when you're slipping and sliding trying to climb the damn mountain, right? So it's nice to switch it up. And you think about it, okay? Let's say if you have five or ten sneakers in rotation, it's nice then for, like, not all of them to be Jordan brand and Nike brand and actually have one, like whether it's New Balance or another trekking sneaker that you can actually use for tracking. All right. So that's why we kind of wanted to switch it up a little bit over here. I mean, honestly, what really sold these for me are the colors and then also the collaboration. Like Bodega, I don't know if you guys know Bodega. Bodega has just done such amazing stuff. I'm not saying all their collabs like hit it across the park, but I think they're, they've done a solid job from the moment from the story of me finding out about their their retail location and like it, it was just i don't know just the whole thing was very magical to me and um i, st I still think that they're putting out magic into the world through their releases so hats off to them and um i think this was a solid collaboration of anything otherwise it wouldn't have sold out right think about that um but i do want to transition the conversation into obviously nike stuff and sneaker stuff um 
because I'm going to be honest, I've been a little MIA over here. We have a lot of stuff to cat play catch up on. Uh, so let me go ahead and share my screen. Now you guys let me know, we did pass on these black cement Air Jordan 1 lows. Um, a lot of people, well, they sold out, okay? And, um, well, I actually, I don't believe they did sell out in the women's. Let me double check over here. No, they did not sell out in the women's. Women's still have, happens to have stock, but I believe they did sell out in the in majority of the larger sizes for men, okay? Now, the sneaker's all right. I'm not the biggest fan of, like, too much elephant print. I'm like, guys, can, I think, honestly, Jordan Brand is, um, I think, running out of ideas. Is to me, when I see elephant print, Elef elephant print to me speaks air jordan 3 okay that's me now or that that's jordan brand but like now the fact that we're seeing on air jordan 1 high and then air jordan 1 low i don't know if i can get with that yet okay like i'm i'm not ready for that yet i think i think it's it's like they're they're trying different things can't blame them but it, it hasn't fully resonated Otherwise, we would have we would have uh, we would have already covered this on the channel. Um, yeah, we got True Never Lack in the building. What's going on? What is up? What is going on? Appreciate you swinging on by uh, the channel. Yeah, we just wanted to cover these New Balance because, guys, for for anybody that watches me and rocks generally rocks with us in the building, you guys know what we don't just cover Nikes. We cover other stuff. I got I got a couple van sneakers I'm going to be covering on the channel soon, uh, and then we do happen to have other brands as well. I want to switch things up from time to time because. The sneaker uh, industry is just in a weird place right now, and I think it's important as a channel to cover different, cover your bases with different brands. Okay, um, you pass on them too. Yep, this was definitely this this was definitely a pass for me. Um, and surprisingly, these aren't even in stock at Nike. Typically, this this would still be at the Nike store, and they they didn't have them at all. So yeah, so we we passed on that, and I don't see myself picking these up anytime soon. So we definitely pass on that. It's going to be an interesting week, to say the least. I know this is something a lot of people are looking forward to. Guys, we're almost in July. July is going to be crazy, okay? We're going to be going live a lot in July because we kind of have to. You guys know I haven't been going live as consistently. I mean, we've been going live consistently, but like every Sunday. And I'm trying to make it a point to get back on my regular schedule of two times a week, if not three times a week. But the reason why is there just hasn't really like it's been kind of dry. It just has kind of been dry. And it's like it's hard to cover content when the content is non-existent, right? So so we uh we're we're gonna be back in full force. I've also been recharging my batteries for anybody that has been doing YouTube consistently for an entire year or entire year and a half. Like you you hats off to you. You know, it's it's a lot of work on top of a full-time job. So um, you know, we we just um we're staying consistent. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, Got to do more cat content. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know it. Oh, you're you're definitely gonna be here for that. That's for sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, appreciate you. Yeah, keep keep doing your TikTok stuff. We're 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 all about it for sure. We'll we'll, we'll be tuning in. Um, uh, I was gonna say if you happen to have your TikTok link, drop it in the chat. Uh, I'll have I'll have a lot of my guys sub uh, uh, sub up to you. Um, if 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 you want to go ahead and drop it or 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 send it to me and I could drop it in too uh yeah it's just been a dry june so you know it's it's fine i'm not here to complain i'm just here to i'm just here to do my job you know i mean it, it, not that i want to consider this a job by any means like to me i enjoy doing this and that's why we do it i think the moment things start to become like like it's not fun anymore it's like okay just go do something else do, do something that's that's fun now, i'm serious uh ro rock and randy uh if you do happen to have your link drop it in the chat I'm more than happy to have um have have some of my some some you know uh, some some of my subscribers uh, sub up to you as well, you know we support each other at the end of the day. For those that don't know, uh, which is kind of crazy to me because a lot of my sneaker journey, like I first started working at the Converse store in San Francisco, and Rock and Reddings was on us uh, one was one of my coworkers. You know, not not to call you out here, but you know I guess I'm just gonna call you out. Uh, so yeah, so we, we, we go back, we go back to Converse days and I'm just, I'm just a shoe head from like, you know, like, you know, yeah, that's how we met. That's how we met. We go back, we go back. So it's like, you know, sometimes it's like, oh, wow, it's so crazy on like the amount of people you meet throughout your life and like where they end up, what they do. But, but yeah, I mean, did, did I know I'd be covering YouTube sneaker content right now? Like, no, probably not. But, but, um, 
it's funny to look back and like the amount of Europeans that we would help uh, in, in the Converse store. And look, I recently, if you look back on, uh, what was it last, uh, a week or two ago, I covered a, a Converse sneaker on the channel. So, you know, I just find it pretty wild. Uh, Mr. Old School, appreciate you. Yeah, you guys, uh, su s you know, sub up to Rockin' Randoms over there. She's amazing, and she puts out great stuff on, on TikTok as well. That's cool how it started working at Converse. Yeah, I mean, you look, you, you never know. For me, I, I've always loved sneakers. Like, I've always been a skater slash, like, you know, fashion sneaker enthusiast. So, you know what I mean? Uh, it's nice to be able to share a lot of, you know, our experiences, the, the discounts that we, uh, we we used to have 40% off Converse and Nike because Nike owns, owns Converse, right? So uh, it was, yeah, no, hey, just sub up, you know, guys, let's, 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 ru let's run it up for sure. Um, I mean, we're, 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 uh, we're trying to get our channel up there too. Like you guys know it for anybody new watching the channel, the moment we hit 2000 subscribers, we're going to be raffling out a sneaker worth $500 on the channel. So sub up if you aren't already subscribed. Um, you know, it doesn't hurt to also smash that like button while you're at it. Um, I mean, it's, 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 you know, we, we could get there before we know it. Um, I got a couple videos that are going to be dropping relatively soon. And then I, 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 I hate to say it, but I also love to say it. The moment we get monetized, I'm going to be putting a subscription module in place. Um, and I'm going to be doing giveaways. It's going to be fun. We're going to be working on merch as well too. I already got some great ideas and, uh, and yeah, you guys know what? I also do happen to have a yo-yo store slash yo-yo business outside of all of this as well. Uh, so I typically share that at the end of stream for anybody who, honestly, I just launched uh, I just launched an additional yo-yo business. So if anybody wants to learn virtual virtual yo-yo lessons, um, I mean, I do charge, but you know, I've I've been doing this for twenty years, so I'm I'm more than happy to help anybody out. If you guys wanna, honestly, it makes a great birthday present to a lot of people, um, especially especially children or or people who have a lot of spare time on their hands and want to like pick pick up a new skill. It's typically around uh, four sessions uh, that have to be used within sixty days, um, and yeah, and I just I teach people from the ground up what yo-yo they need all the way to to advance tricks. So, you know, uh, it's definitely something that we've been doing. We've been doing it and we've been doing it for a while now. So um, I'm just happy that it's finally live. And yeah, you guys can go ahead and take a look at some of my stuff on my website on yoyo.com. Let me actually just, let me actually just sh share it real quick here, uh, conyoyo.com. So uh, if you guys go ahead and take a look at my, my, this is my website. I've been working on it a little bit on the weekends and it's kind of why I've been a little MIA too. But we do we do lessons and events. I have packages packages and pricing as well. I don't just teach children. I teach pretty much people of all ages. I just you know it's just I think uh, a lot of p parents and uh, event organizers or schools that come to my website they can kind of see what I'm about. You know what I mean? And they just need to fill up this form, or they can go ahead and go into my prices and packaging, and I offer I offer the classes there as well. Um, but you guys know it. We we always work to some extent over here, but. Just wanted to share that with you guys if you guys are interested or if you ever uh, have family and friends that are, are interested in something along the lines. I also do uh, children's parties, corporate events, all that fun stuff, mainly in the Bay Area, but I can also go uh, on the exterior of the Bay Area as well, provided it's not too, too, too far. Um, but yeah, we're definitely excited for these born and raised. I believe these are dropping July 21st, okay? Uh, for those that don't know, July is birthday month for your boy. So it's going to be an amazing, uh, uh, it's crazy to me because I remember last July, we, we had, a, we had a birthday stream. Um, it can be, uh, I can be too. Yeah. Hey man, if you want to be two time champ like me, yeah, yeah, please sign up, man. I'll, you know, like the idea here is to, to help people train them and, you know, get, you know, if they, if they're about to go to their first show contest, you know, help, help prep them. You know what I mean? Uh, so that they know that they, they know the tricks, everything from basic to advanced tricks, or even helping them put a, a freestyle together to some extent. Uh, but man, that's that's great. So yeah, so uh, next month is birthday month. Super excited about it. You guys know it. Uh, for all, shout out to all the Leos in the building. Um, I'm definitely a Leo true through and through for sure. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely excited because not, not only is it birthday month, it's like it's, it's going to be a crazy sneaker month. I feel like Nike has kind of been like. Nike's been kind of like taking their foot off the gas a little bit, but um, they're definitely going to be, it's going to be full force next month and we're going to be going live as much as we need to. Okay, that's for sure. We want to definitely ca capitalize on watch hours. We're almost there. So I appreciate everybody who's just been supporting the channel um, because we're so freaking close to getting monetized. Uh, my buddy, so for those that don't know, I actually, 
I got back from Seattle and we went straight to Blink-182 over in San Jose. Uh, and that was amazing. Uh, so yeah, I, for, for, for those that don't know, I'm a, I'm a big Blink-182 fan. Uh, literally for, I don't know, the past 20 years. Like I, I started watching Blink-182 or listening to Blink-182 when I, when I was um, in Europe. You know, this was in, not to date myself, but 20, 2001 is when I initially started listening to Blink-182. So it's nice to see, when I found out the entire band was coming back together, I was like, we got to see them, right? So I got my tickets in February and we got to see them a couple days ago. And it was amazing, definitely amazing. And if anybody, you know, is going to be watching any of their shows, because they're doing a worldwide tour for the remainder of 2023 and 20. I-24 as well, you know, um, those guys are amazing. It's literally like a lot of my uh, teenage angst years, uh, but but d d they're just, you know, it's like a lot of their music just really like, I guess, embodies a lot of who I am. Uh, so I just wanted to share that with you guys, but guys, July is gonna be jam-packed, super excited about this for sure. We just had to be live today and shoot it with you all, cause you know, I, I just, I love doing this and we just wanna be doing more of this. You know, I think it's, I think it's important. It's, uh, it's vital for the channel to let you guys know what's up and, and, and let you guys know we're we're here to educate you guys with sneakers that are coming up, uh, sneakers that have came out and anything that we've acquired recently that we think, hey, this is worth taking a, a better look at. So definitely excited about this. They do happen to have a couple pieces of merch as well. I think I did let you guys know they do happen to have a crew neck in blue, a crew neck in uh, pink as well, which is going to be dropping on sneakers let me actually just go ahead and take a look at that yeah these over here so you do happen to have two pieces of apparel uh the born and raised with the check mark there in blue i like the blue one way better than the pink one but hey if pink's your pink's your jam you know send it um but yeah definitely excited about this it's interesting how this blue looks different than this this looks like a like are there three different colors that are coming out no th this i think this is the same thing yeah, that's interesting on how this looks like. It's this is navy and this is like a a lighter blue. But hey, I'm not the one who who's taking these photos at the end of the day. Um, Blink 182, that was a time. Yeah, for sure, man. I mean, hey, it's a throwback. But I know a lot of their songs. Um, you know, uh, to to heart. Yo yo groupies. Hey, man. Yo yo groupies, indeed. No, for sure. I mean, I'm I'm like one of the last few uh, Bay Area yo yoers that are. Um, you know, like actually doing events around the Bay, you know. Um, but yeah, if you want to be a yo-yo groupie, sure, send there, you know. Um, so yeah, guys, nothing too crazy, you know, coming out. I know that these fishy sneakers are still sitting in Nike. I saw them pretty recently. Um, and then these, I think, are doing pretty well in the aftermarket. These like Mexican-themed sneakers, that's just what I'm going to call them. I like them a lot. I much prefer this one than the red one, but they're both pretty sick. Um... But yeah, yeah. But you guys let me know. What are you guys looking forward to? Because we do happen to have some interesting sneakers that are coming out relatively soon. We do happen to have those, um, what is it? The Air Jordan, let me see. 2023, uh, the Air Jordan Royal. Let me see this. I don't know if I can get this. I'm just going to be real. Um, one of the sneakers that has been on my list in terms of grails you know like yes the 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 leather version is a 400 dollars sneaker these days i don't know can you guys let me know are you with this like what are your thoughts on this i like the colors i just can't get with the materials that they're using on this it's it's i, I just have the like i'm like it's like a conflict with myself i just i don't know if i get i, I don't know if i can get with this like if they did this as like a red toe I still couldn't get with it. I don't know. It just kind of looks like, it looks like a teddy bear. <laughs> like, I, I just, I can't get with it. What's up, Joyce? How are you doing? What is up? Um, yeah, we were talking a little about yo-yos uh, for, uh, for, for, for a hot minute. Um, just letting everybody know if they know anybody or if they'd like to ever participate in classes that we do offer that now as packages on the website. Um, no, but these are going to be dropping relatively soon, sometime in the year. I don't know the exact date. Just going to be honest. When is this dropping? Is it dropping uh, update November 4th? Okay, so it's dropping much later in the year. I love the colors. I just can't get with the materials. So I'm just gonna be real. I don't really know what, like if we're gonna be swooping this up, I'll probably be covering it, but I don't know if we're gonna be keeping it as part of the collection, mainly because the materials, I'm just not vibing with it, okay? And we do also happen to have the UNC toe, which are coming out uh, literally 
This is coming up real, real soon. And a lot of people, there is gonna be a shock drop on these, okay? I don't know exact dates, but this is coming out real soon, okay? A lot of people, I think this is also gonna determine how people are really feeling about the Air Jordan 1, because you guys know what, the Air Jordan 1 silhouette, it hasn't been all the rage these days. It kinda has been uh, kinda on the back burner, you know what I mean? The fact that these Lucky Greens were still sitting, the fact that the taxis didn't do that well, it's just a weird time for the Air Jordan 1. I still think highly of this sneaker. This is one of my favorite silhouettes. This, this is a swoop for sure. This is, a, this is a pickup without a doubt. However, I just don't know what it's going to do on the aftermarket. Like I don't see this doing crazy numbers on the aftermarket, okay? But yes, we're going to try for these, okay? If I had to make a decision between this or this, this is the move without a doubt. It's kind of no questions there. Real Gaming says, I'm looking forward to UNC Toe, yes, okay, and the Playoff 8s, yes. A lot of people will be talking about the Playoff 8s as well. Uh, yeah, UNC is fire for sure, okay. Uh, we got plenty of time to decide, copper or no. Yeah, so there's definitely some time for, there's definitely a lot of time for this to decide if you're on the fence of it. However, this is coming up real soon. This is coming up next month. This is coming up on July 22nd. So we got some heaters, okay? We got some heaters. We have the Born and Raised on the 21st. We have this on the 22nd. Like, guys, July is going to be crazy, all right? So I'm so looking forward to it. You got to save your, you know, if, if June has taught us anything, it's to save them pennies, save them coins, you know what I mean? Because um, a lot of things are going to be dropping. Looking forward to the Union Ones. Wow, okay. You're, oh, you're hoping everybody keeps that same energy? I, I think a lot of people are passing on that, surprisingly. You know, honestly, Dendizi, I hate, to, I hate to be that guy. The only thing I'm looking forward to from the Union Ones, the Union One Highs, are like the laces. That's it. Like, I, I, I can't get with the whole basketball weave. It, it's just not a thing. I'd like to see them in person. But I think I've seen enough videos of them that I'm just like... I don't know if I can get with it, okay? But uh, I do want to. I do want to take a pulse on how everybody feels about that. Even if it's just, it's just such a weird. It's just such a weird sneaker. It's really just a, such a weird sneaker. NC, oh, oh, NC to Chi Lows. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh, those are, those are, those are, those are sick. Yeah, let me go ahead. Um. Yeah, these are these are these are these are these are going to be a problem, guys. This is going to be a problem for sure this year. I think this is definitely going to be a problem. We're going to join the contest. We'll do whatever it takes to get these ones. Now, now note this is going to be a women's somewhat, I guess, exclusive of anything. The UNC uh, to Chicago colorway. This is this is a banger, straight up, hundred forty dollars retail, July twenty sixth. So you guys know it, July is really starting to heat up for sure. Bert, I appreciate you for reminding us about this one, but this one is definitely something a lot of people are looking forward to, but let me know if there is anything else. I know definitely, I mean, those are already like three to four like amazing sneakers that are coming out in July. And I feel like it's like closer to the tail end of July is like everybody just gonna be spending all they got, you know, to to, to acquire a lot of this stuff. So best of luck to everybody. Um, uh yeah uh save your money indeed uh-huh definitely okay but I i'm curious if you had to pick if you had to pick between um these ones you know the unc to chicago these ones or the or the sneakers uh where is it where where, where are we at where are we at or these okay between those three born and raised unc high unc low to Chicago between those three let me know in the chat which one if you had just one one W one W whether it's on sneakers or whether it's at your shop or whatever let it be known I'm, I'm really curious I think for me I really like those born and raised um but if I absolutely had to just pick one like I, I can only get one I think it would be this for me for me I, don't, I know there's going to be a general release, so there's going to be more of these. But if I absolutely had to just pick one and I'm going to wear it that month, I'd probably pick this one. That's me, okay? I do know that this is going to be limited quantities for sure. We have a lot of dunks, so we're kind of good, but I really do like this a lot. I think this is definitely a second placer for me, but I really like this one. I got my eye on this one, definitely. Uh, UNC Toe all the way. There you go. Okay, nice bacon. Yep. Uh, 
Born to race all day, Denji Denjizi. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty close race, but for me, it's like I'm just I'm basing on it. If I could like get one for the toe, like right away, these that that's me. Um, those Air Jordan one although uh, OGs are clean. Yeah, no, they are. And again, I know that there's gonna be a cutoff with them because it is a women's exclusive. So my apologies for anybody who is, you know, uh, I guess men's larger sizes. Right? What's the cutoff? Isn't the cutoff like uh, women's? Women's 12, which is a 10.5 men's, and that's the cutoff. So if you're at an 11 and up, it just it just is what it is, you know. Uh, born and raised, a lot of people for the dunk. Yeah, I can see that. No, but but I, I'm asking, I'm asking in terms of like not for the resale. Like we know there's going to be resale for the dunk. Maybe not so much for this. I'm not asking about like making money. I'm asking about like genuinely wearing it. If you had to choose one of these one of these, which one would it be? You know what I mean? And for me, that's why I'm going with this because I'm like, there's so many freaking fits I can mix and match this with. Um, like, uh, honestly, let me actually share, well, you guys you guys know we did, uh, we did, we did swoop with that, that Supreme piece pretty recently. Um, uh, let me see. Um, let's see here. Yeah, for me, I always just kind of look for specific pieces, right? So we did swoop this piece up. And I don't know, for me, it's like, I do like the fact that there's some blue on it. You guys know it. The Kurt Cobain sweater, boom, instant banger. These did sell out. And you guys know we were literally first in line for this because, like, we, we couldn't not, not get this. But I see, you know, something like this, like, on the toe, something like this on the top, I think it's definitely, like, you know, you got a little bit of that, that, that blue, if anything. For me, I'd probably mix and match something like that with some, like, nice light denim, if anything. That's just me. Um... UNC tool for the grippers all the way. All right, there you go. Yeah, a lot. Of, I mean, guys, I 100% know that UNC toes are going to sell out. I just don't know how well they're going to be doing on the aftermarket. Like, I, I think I think there's going to be some lunch money to be made, maybe larger sizes. Maybe you can make 40, 50 bucks. Um, but I'm thinking, honestly, for the amount that they're going to be making in these, I'm going to call it, I'm thinking anywhere from 400 to 450 Um like thousand pairs, like that, that, that just, I'm just spitballing a number out here. We'll see as we get closer to it, but expect them to do some kind of shock drop for this. Like it's just typical how Nike does it. They get people excited about it. And then there's also the red cements too. Let's just, let's touch on that red cements as well. That the red cement fours, cause come on, what other fours are coming out this year? You guys know we did feature the fire reds, which honestly such a solid grail. I'm super happy about it. But uh, the the uh, yeah the red cements where are they at? We're red cement fours 2023. Let me go ahead and just bring these up. Yeah, so this is happening relatively soon. Let's just bring this up because I I want to make sure we if we're gonna cover everything we're gonna cover everything. Okay, Air Jordan Four Red Cement releasing in August. Okay, now I like these a lot. I definitely want to see them in person. You know what I mean? I don't know anything with dots on it. I'd much prefer like on gray or i don't know I, I like for me on on red it kind of throws it off a little bit for me i really want to see these in person but th these are these these are clean these are clean these are releasing in august okay so this is like what like literally after after uh after july they're, they're not going to put the stove fire off it's still going to be up so these are definitely a lot of people going to be coming out for these g face in the bullet how you doing what's going on what's good what's goody uh, you keep hearing four hundred thousand on unc toe so it should be an easy cop yeah but but they're going to sell out regardless because sneakers are going to be botted, even though sneaker says that they're doing everything for their bot protection. You guys know that's cap. Like, there's just no way for any site to fully be protected from bots. Like, just, just no, because like the, the, the bots and the people who make the bots are they're humans and they're smart people. They know how to do this. You know, there's always a workaround. OK, uh, Joel loves sneakers. Yo, what's going on? Salutes to all. Yeah. Hey, shout out to all you guys rocking with us in the building. You guys know what? Smash that like button while you while you guys are here. Um, I appreciate everybody. You guys know it. We we ain't going anywhere. We just been busy. Uh, I just literally had a work trip to Seattle for about three days. It was just nice to hang out over there for a while. I haven't been to Seattle since before COVID. Honestly, uh, what was that? Um, Twenty. I think it was twenty. Yeah, like yeah, just right right before COVID, like fe February right before COVID. It, it, if anything. Um. Yeah, it was, uh, I believe it was 2021, I believe. 
um no 2020 2020 sorry 2020 right before covid went went crazy it was yeah early 2020 is is exactly when when that happened action bronson i was looking about that too let me bring that up real quick um i was looking at that that's dropping rel relatively soon and there's actually a contest for that uh i appreciate you you uh you, you bring that up mr old school uh it drops on the 30th on the new balance site but it's also on and clothing.com um but yeah let it be known make some noise if you guys are interested in this these red cement i haven't really seen anybody kind of going crazy oh yeah okay well uh, red uh real gaming said need those red cements okay for sure um i'm just double checking i mean we'll we'll try for these i don't know how many are going to be coming out but um definitely sneakers sneakers most likely will be doing a shock drop for this as well again we don't know dates or anything like that but you guys know how they like to strike or all the excitement around this stuff so let me go ahead and just uh bring up that action uh bronson uh sneaker so uh if we go ahead on end so you guys know it End is a european site they do happen to have some launches over here so you can already pretty much see uh if you go ahead and scroll down they do happen to have some contests for certain things now action bronson it's interesting colorway okay so this is it it's the 990 v6 if you guys want to go ahead and join up for this just note if you do win they're going to charge the card you have on file and they'll be charging you that extended shipping cost which could probably cost an additional 30 to 35 dollars really depending on where you're at these are clean i do see this doing relatively well on the aftermarket now yes it's a high price tag it's 265 dollars however i do see this doing relatively well based on the fact you got some like hints of of, of uh was it pink you do happen to have some hints of like you know uh that that light uh cream as well it's it's just a clean sneaker overall and i'm excited for these for sure so thank you mr osco for bringing that up i was actually looking at this before we did go live i just wanted to cover my basis uh, Mr. Osu says red cements are nice. Yes, they definitely are for sure. Appreciate you all guys hanging with us today on this fine Sunday evening over here uh, before we jump into this busy, busy work week. All right. But um, but yeah, you guys uh like I'm trying to think also like if there is anything else top of mind that we should that we should be excited about because I, I think I pretty much covered the majority of the stuff that that um that I'm excited about, all right. I don't know when the remainder of Yeezy Day is going to be happening, um, but, you know, the moment we find out more information, we will definitely be letting you all you, you all know about it. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, guys, we're like, we're super close to monetization, you know, honestly. We just literally need, I would say, probably after this video, maybe like an additional 170 watch hours, which honestly, that's that's a drop in the bucket. We're literally almost there. I expect... I expect to be fully monetized in probably about like 45 days of anything. So what happens is after you get monetized on your channel or you can apply for monetization, it takes about 30 days for you to actually be monetized, monetized because you still need to apply for it. So if you guys see some videos just kind of popping up on my channel, just random stuff, you know, feel free to like run it up, help, help your guy out as we get to where we need to be. Now I'm contemplating. I know I said I'm gonna be doing a giveaway when we hit 2,000 subscribers, but you guys let me know. Do you want a giveaway the moment we get monetized? Let it be known in the chat. We might be doing something special. I might be doing like a monetization stream or something like that, but we're most likely gonna be spinning the wheel of anything, but I need to know. You guys want some free stuff? Let it be known in the chat. We're probably gonna be raffling something out the moment we get monetized. That's the plan since it's it's been it's been a wild roller coaster of uh just youtube in general like honestly like i think about like the early the early days for me starting this channel in 20 2007 like you know that's a long time ago and then all the way till now for those that don't know we actually we were supposed to get a paycheck from youtube back in the day back in the day we were supposed to receive a hundred dollars from youtube i'm saying Within the first five years of me being on YouTube, YouTube was supposed to mail me a check, but I think like something didn't go right or I didn't really, like I was missing something. So we never got that hundred dollars from YouTube. So, so, you know, this is in a way, this is kind of like, this is like my, my, my second, my second chance to finally kind of get to a point where we're getting monetized and we're, you know, we're getting YouTube to finally, finally pay us for all the hard work that we've been putting into the channel. Um, so appreciate all you guys for anybody that's ever like, like any of our videos, 
uh, you know, has watched like literally anything. Like if, even if you've just literally watched any of my like past content, you're like rocking with us now for the first time. Uh, I just I appreciate you guys. You know what I mean? Like um, it's only it's only up from here. But uh, but let it. Yeah, let's 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 make it a party for real. Yeah, for sure. No, I'd like to do something special uh, for the monetization uh, stream, if anything. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm sitting on a bunch of merch and, and sneakers. So hopefully uh, I can pick something out and we will figure something out. OK, because I can't can't sit on all this heat forever. You know what I mean? Um, but you guys know it. a lot of the channel is dependent on featuring, uh, you know, reviewing, reviewing stuff, you know, talking about uh, future releases and then just giving you my humble opinion on what I think is worth going after. Uh, what I think is worth holding off on as well, you know, uh, I think it's important to balance this stuff out, you know, what you're buying and then what you're not buying as well, because because it's crazy to me how fast the market can change. It's like something can be so hyped and sell for over a thousand dollars. And then just even a couple of, of like maybe a couple of weeks or a couple of months, it's like it's it's down on 300 bucks. So so there's it's the, the, this this market can be very, very volatile uh because you never know um let's use let's use yeezy for example yeezy will especially back in the day uh they'd release something like 10 years ago and then when they'd re-release it prices on the original one just tanked let's use the belugas for example remember that original belugas were like selling for a lot of money and then when they did the re-release what happened prices tanked so this is why it's important to sell on the high when you can, when you know you when you when there's like more certainty that you're gonna be able to get your money up front, which we could be better about for sure. But um we try to educate you guys as best we can when it comes to a lot of these releases and just everything that's going on in sneaker land, because uh people have made a lot of money with through sneakers. Like sneakers is a billion dollar industry. There's so much money to be made if you know if you if you're if you know what to go after, okay? Um, you see big yellow croc boots. Yeah, I saw them. I think they're crazy. <laughs> I got to share that on the screen. God, this stuff. I feel like they're just, just running out of ideas here. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even know. Uh, the, 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 so the, what is it? the big red boot? Now they're doing the big, the big yellow croc boot. Um, doesn't it have like holes in it? Yeah, here it is. God, this thing is freaking ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say, guys. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so done. I'm so freaking done with this. <laughs> uh, you guys let me know. Okay, so Crocs is doing this big yellow boot with the holes in it and stuff. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, <laughs> just, I can't. Uh, that's it. That's what I want to say. Um, I mean, so what? This is for uh, Mischief and Crocs unveil their, their yellow collaboration at Paris Fashion Week. Yeah, so Paris Fashion Week, I believe, was literally like this week. And Louis Vuitton, you guys know it. I'm a huge fan of Louis Vuitton. I've worked for the company in the past. And Pharrell is their new, uh, you know, create, men's creative director. It's just amazing to see the pieces that, um, that he's, he's doing. He's revamped uh, the, the Speedy, which is their, like, you know, classic bag. And they're bringing back a lot of the the original checkered print just kind of like putting a little bit of a spice into it um but yeah these these are freaking ridiculous indeed really ridiculous over here but uh yeah it's nice to see what's happening in the world of fashion just a lot of a lot of change a lot of um you know i think that them bringing pharrell into you know the scene as louis vuitton's creative director is is the move i mean obviously louis vuitton wants to make money so they're not going to do any stupid moves in the market right now and I think there's no better version. Honestly, when I found out Pharrell was going to be the creative men's director, I was like, all right, that makes sense. It really doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, but let's 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 dial it back to Nike over here. Not really seeing anything too crazy that I'm excited about, at least this month. So we're just going to kind of continue to keep our eye on the prize. Now, I do want to touch on this real quick because I held off on joining any contest on this one. And I'm kind of kicking myself in the foot because I, I kind of did want these. I kind of did want these. I, I think I think they're clean. Obviously, you guys know it. Travis Scott is like endorsing them. Now, whether Travis Scott was endorsing them or not, these sneakers are kind of growing on me to some extent. Um, well, 
did they even drop on on sneakers they i don't believe they dropped on sneakers it was kind of like an exclusive boutique type of sneaker so i won't click into this because it's just playing some videos but you guys kind of get the get the picture did anybody in the chat go for the mac attacks i like the box i think it's a it's solid checker print more checker print and uh i think i think it's a clean sneaker it does have retro vibes like real retro vibes because you look at how outdated this silhouette is it's very outdated for them to bring this back it's interesting it's nostalgic um i'm about it you know i like this color specifically but i'm not necessarily going to be trying for this on the aftermarket so we're probably most likely going to be passing on that um but guys that pretty much concludes the stream today i just wanted to shoot it for what it is with you guys and you know uh, feature these amazing new balances again i really do like these a lot i'm a fan and i definitely am excited to be trying these uh you know on one of these trails and, and hikes relatively soon i mean look at that traction at the bottom sheesh these are clean so if you guys uh you know are on the fence on this definitely it does get two thumbs up from me giving it a solid eight out of ten on that specifically i'm gonna go ahead and share my instagram as i typically do for anybody new uh watching the channel for the first time my name is ernest khan we've pretty much been doing sneaker content since january of 2022 and we've just been kind of going and going at it uh, we cover everything from fashion uh sneakers yo-yo content as well um social status mac attack is coming soon thank you okay awesome that's good to know now wait for the price to dip hey man yeah i mean you want to be smart about this you know wait for the price to dip and then you kind of go for it when it makes it makes the most sense but yeah we've been making some changes to the instagram over here i'm just going to go ahead and share the screen over here so yes we are a two-time philippine national champion and we are content creators here you guys know it so um i guess as of now officially 153 sneaker reviews in the bucket and we just climb in over here so i just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart we will be doing a we're well we're we're back on track for you know thursday and then sunday you know just a regular stream we're going to kind of keep it consistent over here and if I do happen to go on, um, oh, I'm on Manier. Is is that still live? Let me double check real quick here. Is this is this? Uh, let me actually just see this real quick. Um, just bring that and go to site. Is this still? Oh, it's actually. Oh no, this is the the Action Bronson. Thanks, thanks for sharing that. So the Action Bronson is actually live on Amon Manier. If you want to go and join that, it's also on N.com as well. Now, yes, two hundred sixty five is a, is a quite a bit of a price tag. You know, price tag for those sneakers. But if you do want to go for these, they are featured over here on uh, Amon Manier. So I appreciate you, uh, Mr. Old School, for sharing that link for anybody that does want to go ahead and sign up for this. Just know that if you do hit, they're going to charge your card, and that's quite quite a pretty penny for these. But I do see these going up in value or definitely holding value of anything. 220. Okay, 220 of anything. It's the it's the price tag on and that's a lot higher. These are clean 990s, very comfortable sneakers. One of my favorite all-time new balances indeed. But guys, that pretty much concludes the stream. Uh just you know, quick, straight one hour over here, rocking with you guys. Just wanted to share with you the goods and what we ended up swooping up over here. I also want to let anybody new watching the channel, look, we're not those YouTubers that just cover Nike products all the time. Yes, a good chunk of my channel is going to be um, definitely Nike products without a doubt, since, you know, Nike kind of does have the sneaker industry in a chokehold. They own majority of our attention, and they will, you know. Majority streamers cover Nike products, and it is what it is, but we want to spice things up a little bit here and there with Vance, with New Balance, and, you know, just other other sneakers adidas as well from time to time we want to mix it up we don't want to get stagnant we want to definitely shake things up a little bit over here and let you guys know that look we're sneakerheads through and through we want to cover stuff that we think is worth covering on the channel otherwise we're just not going to cover it right so so that pretty much concludes the stream but you know much love from the bottom of my heart appreciate all you guys rocking with us i'm going to play some tunes as i typically do in typical stream fashion and i'll see you all very 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 soon okay so it's sunday i'll see you all thursday if i go live in between then then we'll we'll, we'll just we'll let it be known by just being live but uh with that being said i want to peace on out here guys thank you again from the bottom of my heart and uh and yeah i'll see you all sooner than you guys know all right peace 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 peace